welcome back we had created the login component the welcome component and for the first time let's move towards creating the list to do's component our login and welcome components are not really perfect yet but let's start with the list to do component and after that let's review the work that would be done so let's get started with the list to do's component obviously the way you would create it is by saying list to do's and because these are two different words i would typically capitalize t so list t caps to do's so ng generate component list to do's i'm pressing enter now and the component is created of as usual it's added to the app module what i want to do is add a simple link in here which would help us to go to the to do's page typically what we would do as soon as we create a component is add a route because without a route you will not be able to get to the component right so let's open up the app routing module let's add a route make sure that you are adding the route about the star star one of the important things is the order of these routes is really really important if you put star star above and you put the new route down below it what would happen is the star star would match the component route so because star star would match anything it's a regular expression to match anything so this route would match and always the error component would be shown so even if you type in slash list to do's it might show the error component and that's not really good right what we want to show is the list to do's component so what i'll do is list to do's component import it in and over here i'll give it a path of to do's so to do's redirects to list to do's component we can test that quickly by typing in localhost to do's cool list to do's works that's good let's open up the list hyphen to do's dot component dot html and let's open up the list hyphen to do's dot component dot ps now in javascript how do we create objects let's say i want to create a simple to do object the way i can do that is by saying to do is equal to and type in the content of the to do i can say id is 1 description is learn to dance and so on and so forth so you can add a number of at object attributes and now what i can do is i can take this we can display it as part of our list to do's component so what i would do is i would create a simple table inside the table let's add a caption saying my to do's we don't really have a lot of to do's as of now but don't worry about it we'll fix that little later i'll add a t head and typically you have a t body and inside the t head and t bodies you would have the table rows that's kind of the structure of any table right so you would have a th over here the th let's say is the id and let's copy this again and this would be the description and over here down below we'll copy the same thing but over here the trs would be used so we just have one rows for now that's okay and tr over here tr so let's do a right click for my document actually i should have done a td down here oops i'm forgetting my table syntax that's interesting now we have the tr td stuff ready we have a simple row id description id description if you go to the to do page yeah the table is here and let's add a border just so that we can actually see yep cool now over here instead of the id i would want to show the to do id how can i do that i can use interpolation to do dot id over here to do dot description is that good let's refresh the page oops it says id 1 description learn to dance that's cool right so we are able to get the to do data which is present in here and use it and display it on the screen what we want to do is we would want to use a list of to dos right we want to show a list of to dos not just one to do so how do we create a list of to dos to dos 
is equal to an array. So, a list of to-dos would be created as an array, right? And this to-do would be one of the to-dos which would be part of it. So, what we'll do is we'll define it in here. So, what the typical way we would do that is by saying id colon 1 colon description learn to dance. Let's add another one to become an expert at Angular. And maybe another one visit India or whichever country you would want to visit. Okay, so now instead of one to do, we have a list of to do's. I'll comment this one out because I don't really want to use this to do anymore. So control slash. How do we map this list to do's to the HTML? So we would want to show here a list of to do's. The way you can do that is by using a ng directive. So we would want to loop around all the to do's. What we would typically use? For loop, right? So it's called ng for is equal to. What do we want to loop around? We would want to loop around the to do's. And what we want to do is we would want to create a variable called to do of. So if I would want to put in the comparative Java code, then it would be something like for it would look at look something like this to do to do colon to do. So we are declaring a variable called to do of the type to do. So the important thing is to use the keyword of. A lot of times people put in in and that would give you an error. So it's let space to do space to do. So to do is the variable name which we can use inside this template. Let and of are keywords. And if you go back to the to do's page, you'd see that all the to do's are populated. So we see my to do's, ID, description, one, two, three, and all that fun stuff. In this quick video, we added in a list of to do's. We created a component called list to do's. We added a list of to do's and we enhanced our view to show the list of to do's. We used a new directive called ng for, which is used to loop around. So what would happen is almost like there is a for loop around this entire TR. So you can almost imagine as if there is a for loop for to do to do's around this entire TR. So that's exactly what the, so you can imagine it as if this is the code which is present. So inside the for loop, you have this TR and each this loop is executed for each of the to do's which is present inside the list of to do's. The next step, let's enhance this list to do's a little bit more. Let's bring a few of the best practices into it and I'll see you in the next step.